Hello and welcome back. I'm Bebo Joe, and this is a tutorial for workers and resources. Today, conveyor connections. First, start in the infrastructure and click on conveyors, and you have a bunch of different ones. There is a build conveyor connection and build dry bulk conveyor connection. Dry bulk is for cement and bauxite right now, um, but it works very similar to regular conveyor connection, so we will just stick to the regular one. Let's start by a building some aggregate storage. And if you look at these, um, let's turn off the UI. Turning off your eyes, Control and G. Um, look at these, there are two types of symbols. There is an in arrow and there's an out arrow. The out arrow is at the bottom. That means um, conveyors can only transport that direction. So these are just directional arrows. Keep that in mind. Um, and then let's just connect one this far away. You can see the game will already auto-connect them for you. Now, we connect it. We connect it from here to here in that direction. So if we fill this one up um, with anything, it really doesn't matter. If we fill this one up and give this whole system power, Go check out my power tutorial if you're not sure what I'm doing right now. It should explain everything that you need to know. But now our storages have power, but it's not moving anything, but it's connected. Why isn't stuff going here? Well, these conveyors are passive connections. They're not doing anything unless you tell them what you want them to do. These storage units don't do anything besides store what you have. So if you want to move stuff from one side to the other, there are two options. Option one, create an overflow. How do we do that? Um, let's see. Let's build another one. Not like this. There we go. Um, connect them with vehicles. Get a truck of some sort. Um, put some gravel in here. So you can overflow it by actually selecting a truck, a dumper, get a couple, send them from here to here, and launch. Now I'll show you what I mean when the first truck arrives. So here is a truck dropping off their load. And you can see there's something happened on the conveyor here. While the truck is dropping off, it drops it off into this storage, but there's overflow going into this storage. So you can have the conveyors transport stuff that overflows from one storage unit to the next one. Great, if that's what you want. So we have two trucks dropped off something into here and we have 50 tons of gravel overflowing. If you want this to automatically happen, you have to add a conveyor engine. Let's get rid of this guy. Um, conveyor engines, there's one here. This is the vanilla one. I highly, highly, highly recommend you get modded ones from the workshop. Um, they are a lot less frustrating, but these will work. Get it all built, and look at this. It already starts moving stuff from there to there. Why does this happen? The storages and the conveyors are both passive buildings. However, the engine is an active building. The engine can pull and push at the same time. That's wonderful. Um, and we'll just pull from one storage, push to the other, um, until the target storage is full. There's one thing that they just added, which I would like to show you as well, which is um, priorities. So instead of having to just hope that stuff goes into where you want it, you can tell your priorities what to use first. You just set them up however you want them. And we have obviously, if you hover over them, it will show you which conveyor it's actually looking at. So one, two, three. Output one. Um, there we go. Set them like this. And there's always one higher than the other. This is great if you, for example, have a coal plant where you want the coal plant always to get um, the output, which means um, output one will be high and it will fill that one first and then all the others just come afterwards. So as long as there's coal flowing, it will go to the power plant. 
Here's something very similar. I told it one is high, so it will fill up one until it's full. Um, and then it will go to two. If I tell two that it's high, it will just do two first. If I say three is high, sorry, if I tell don't use any priorities, it will just split whatever it gets, which means these will fill up slower. That's conveyors. Um, last thing is the storages do not need power. Only the engines need power. So keep that in mind. This guy is almost empty. And that's what we have. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, let me know if there's something I should cover next. And until then, bye.